Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Women in Math and STEM, where our mission is to reach out to as many professionals, aspiring professionals, students, whatever you name it, we try to reach out to them, um, who essentially support the initiative of um, bringing more women and young girls into the STEM field. So with that being said, um, as always, feel free to open up the description or transcript to better follow along, and I hope you enjoy this episode. Hello, and thank you so much for coming to this call today and speaking with me. Just to sort of start off, do you mind briefly introducing yourself as well as sort of walking us through your journey to get you where you are today? Yeah, sure. So I'm Vivian. I'm currently a freshman at Caltech studying math, and I did a lot of math competitions and math stuff growing up. So I did like math competitions in middle and high school, like the AMC, Amy, USMO, and I qualified for the USA Math Olympiad program, and I also represented the USA twice at the European Girls Math Olympiad, and I also went to a bunch of competitions run by colleges, and I met a lot of friends in the math community, so I became pretty connected and felt like I found a place where I belonged there. I also like teaching math a lot, so I taught math for a program called Athimath, which I now run, and it basically supports girls in math. So I really like teaching math and also just solving problems. Sounds good. I was just curious, as a math student, what are some of the most challenging aspects and most enjoyable aspects of studying mathematics? Okay, so I'm assuming you're talking about like math competition because that's like what most of the students are interested in. Um, so like challenging aspects, like definitely math is not something that like you are good at from the start it it would take it usually takes a long time to reach a point where like you feel like you really enjoy solving problems and at the beginning it can be really hard because math is pretty unintuitive like it takes a lot of practice and you have to like struggle for a long time on problems but when you do get the answer it can feel really satisfying and that's what makes math worth it even if it takes a long time to reach the answer you learn a lot in that process so that's a really challenging thing also like with competitions it can be it can be hard or it can be really easy to think that like you're not good compared to other people because there are so many people who are so good at competitions so that can be pretty discouraging sometimes but if you can find a community that's like supportive and where people don't judge you based off of your scores but they just like think of everyone as someone who likes math if you can find a community like that then that can be really good and motivating. Sounds good. Sort of on the same note, I was wondering what you personally did when if like when or if you ever encountered like a really difficult problem that you might not be able to solve like at first glance. Yeah, so that's basically like most of the problems that I like encountered towards the end of my math journey. I don't think I ever really like knew how to solve a problem at first glance, but I just kind of like with practice, I kind of trained myself to like not be too scared when I had no idea what to do and like often you just need to try a bunch of different things and even if like you have no idea what to do at first you might get closer and closer and you might get more and more intuition about what to do like sometimes you feel like you might be on the right track even if you don't completely have the answer but yeah like also like asking for hints is like a good idea sometimes like if you've been struggling on a problem for a really long time it might be helpful to like ask someone for a hint or just like take a break from the problem and come back again that can give you like a new mindset on the problem that can help you think in a different way I see I was also just curious about your favorite areas of mathematics and if you've ever taken a really interesting class okay so my favorite area when doing math competitions was Euclidean geometry. Well, in middle school, I really did not like geometry. I kind of tried to like use algebra to bash every problem I could. But then at the beginning of high school, 
during COVID, I, re- I read Evan Chen's book called Euclidean Geometry in Math Olympiads, and that really like opened my eyes to Euclidean geometry because reading that book felt like I was discovering something, like not like someone was telling me stuff, but like I was discovering it myself, which was really interesting. I felt like there was always more to discover about math in general, but in this case, geometry. So I, I just really enjoyed thinking about hard geometry problems in high school. The harder they were, the more fun they were, even if I had no idea how to do them. And yeah, uh, okay, so right now, like Euclidean geometry isn't a topic in higher math, but I guess I'm interested in like combinatorics and number theory. I'm still figuring it out though. Sounds good. And then I was um, also wondering, since you're a fairly successful competitor in math competitions, how you sort of balance your schoolwork, math competitions, and then on top of that, maybe like some of your other interests? Okay, so that's a really good question. Actually, I think I like I was definitely one of the people who focused more on math and like less on like schoolwork and other activities. Like, okay, so for one, I, I'm pretty lucky to have gone to a high school that didn't have a very big workload. It was kind of like a small high school, like in Pittsburgh, and the, the kids weren't like too academically motivated. Like it wasn't a super competitive school, so that was nice. Like I didn't have to spend a lot of time making sure I did my homework perfectly. So I just like did my homework like decently well, and then I had a bunch of free time like at home to do math. And also, like, I'm one of the few, like, like math people who, like, doesn't do, like, instruments or sports, which is, it could be, like, a good thing or a bad thing, because, like, in some ways, I'm, like, pretty one-dimensional. Like, I'm really passionate about just one thing. But, yeah, I think generally, like, there is a limited amount of time, and I really admire the people who are able to balance math with, like, a ton of other activities they do. But it is definitely really hard. And I think, like, as long as you are really passionate about math, though, it's possible. Because, like, I know people who just think about math whenever they can. Like, if they're, like, trying to fall asleep or, like, taking a shower or anything. And that can really help you become better at math if you just spend time thinking about it. So I think it's really possible to become good at math while also doing other things. Sounds good. I'm also curious about since you you just started college or like your freshman year at Caltech, I was wondering how like your experience in high school math competitions versus taking courses in like college mathematics like sort of differs. Okay, so it's definitely very different because like in math competitions, it's a lot of you just like trying problems and just like doing a bunch of practice problems. Whereas in classes, like often it's a teacher teaching you a concept and then you apply the concept to problems. But I do think doing competitions in high school helped prepare me for a college math because like there are some concepts in college math which are pretty closely related to things in competition math. Like for example, in abstract algebra, we're learning about like groups and this is, there are a lot of examples of groups that are pretty closely related to number theory, like Olympiad number theory type stuff. So. The fact that a lot of this stuff is kind of familiar to me helps me, like, get a better grasp of it. And it's just really interesting to see how everything ties together. So, yeah. That makes sense. And then finally, sort of to end off, I was wondering if you had any pieces of advice, recommendations, suggestions, honestly, anything for high school students, but particularly high school girls who are interested in maybe pursuing mathematics in the future. Okay. Yeah. So, I think... It's really good if you're interested in math and a girl because there aren't really enough people like that. But yeah, I think one thing is like, like just to do whatever you're passionate about. Like, don't worry if there aren't many other people like you who have interests like you. Just like pursue your passions and like don't be afraid to do what people haven't done before. Also, like, yeah, try not to, like, compare yourself too much with other people because that can be pretty discouraging since there are always people who will be better than you. But, yeah, just, like, focus on trying to, like, learn more yourself and have fun learning math. Like, basically, the goal is for you to, like, really enjoy math and be able to explore math as much as possible. It's not really about, like, trying to win or, like, 
be the very best because in real life there is not really any winning like after high school you basically just like learn and try to like discover as much as you can so yeah Sounds good. Thank you so much. It was absolutely fantastic. Oh, you're welcome.